Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my whiskey collection 2023. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my whiskey collection 2023. In this video I'll show you all of my bottles both open and closed and I'll also let you know which of them I've reviewed. Since last year I've had 57 new bottles, 12 of which were gifts, and I've also killed 61 bottles, the oldest being open for 809 days. I've got 47 open bottles and the rest are closed. If you spot any bottles that you think I should review, then just let me know in the comments. On to the whiskey. Starting with my world whiskey, we have the No Nonsense Macmurda, which I have reviewed. We have the Macmurda Summerton Lucky Dip. We have the Summerton Macmurda Batch 1, which I have reviewed. We have the Macmurda Limousin, which I have reviewed. We have the High Coast Elf, which I have reviewed. And the High Coast Harve, which I've also reviewed. We have the Cotswolds Handfill PX. We have the English Summerton Club Edition. We have the Oxford Rye Heritage Grains 2017. We have the Stowning Rye. We have the Yamazaki Distillers Reserve. And we have the Bray's Breton Blended Whiskey. Moving on to my Bimba collection, we have the Rechard Oak Batch 1, which I have reviewed. We have the Ex Bourbon Oak Casks Batch 1, which I have reviewed. We have the Peated Cask Batch 1, we have the Oloroso Cask Batch 2, we have the Ex Bourbon Oak Casks Batch 2, and the Ex Bourbon Oak Casks Batch 3. Continuing my Bimba collection, we have the Selfridges Exclusive, we have the London Whiskey Club Edition, which I have reviewed, we have the Sherry Cask Number no. 42, which I have reviewed. We have the Southport Whiskey Festival Edition and we have Bimba Club Editions numbers 1, 2 and 3. Moving on to my American whiskies, we have Wild Turkey 101, which I have reviewed. We have Four Roses Single Barrel. We have Americana Small Batch Bourbon, which I have reviewed. We have Jim Beam Single Barrel which I have reviewed, and we have Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which I've also reviewed. Moving on to my Jack Daniels collection, we have the Single Barrel Barrel Strength, which I have reviewed, and we have the Master Distiller Series numbers 3, 4, 5 and 6. Moving on to my Irish Whiskey, we have the Glendalock Double Barrel. We have the Dingle Single Malt Batch 5, which I have reviewed. We have the Dingle Single Pot Still Batch 4, which I have reviewed. We have the Writer's Tears Double Oak. We have the Sleeve League, the Legendary Dark Silky. We have the Bushmills Black Bush 8020. We have the Teeling Black Pits, which I have reviewed. We have the Irishman Founders Reserve. And we have the Red Breast 12 Car Strength, which I have reviewed. Moving on to my Pierce Lions collection, we have the 5 year old Single Malt, we have the 5 year old Single Malt Car Strength, we have the Marriage of Malt 2019, we have the 5 year Original, we have the 7 year Distiller's Choice, and we have the 12 year Founder's Choice. Moving on to my Jameson collection, we have the original, which I have reviewed. We have the Castmates IPA edition, which I have reviewed. We have the Castmates Stout edition, which I have reviewed. And we have the Castmates 4 Pure edition, which I have reviewed. We have the Black Barrel, which I have reviewed. And we have the Crested 8 Degrees Brewing edition. We have the Single Pot Steel, which I have reviewed and we have the distillery edition. We have the triple triple and we have the 18 year old Bow Street 2019. And we have the 21 year old, which I have reviewed.
Moving on to the blended whiskey, we have the Coach Built Build Number 001, which I have reviewed. We have the famous Grousk Car Strength. We have the Dewar's Double Double 21 year old, which I have reviewed. And we have the Seneki 40 year old blended malt. Moving on to the Lowlands, we have the Whiskey Baron Gervin 15 year old Sumpton edition. We have the Glasgow Distillery 1770 Sumpton edition 2020 and 2021. Moving on to the islands, we have Tobermory 12 year old, we have Highland Park 12 year old, we have Highland Park Saltire 2, which I have reviewed. Moving on to Campbelltown, we have the Glen Scotia 14 year old Tawny Port, and we have the Glen Scotia 2007 The Grand Tour. Moving on to Isla, we have the Artful Dodger Boonhaven 8 year old Vinda Kalur cask. We have the Boonhaven Moigne, which I have reviewed. We have the Boonhaven 12 year old. We have the Ardbeg Wee Beastie, which I have reviewed. We have the Ardbeg 10 year old, which I have reviewed. We have the Ardbeg Anno, which I have reviewed. And we have the London Whiskey Club Thompson Brothers Kalila. Moving on to Speyside, we have the Master of Malt Speyside 6 year old single cask. We have the Craig Ellicke 13 year old, which I have reviewed. We have the Craig Ellicke 17 year old. We have the Anok 24 year old. We have the London Whiskey Club Thompson Brothers Brave Owl 24 year old. We have the SMWS 9.221, a lovely bunch of coconuts, which I have reviewed. We have SMWS 35.298, big bumper bag of buttons. We have the SMWS 41.140, raindrops on pine cones, which I have reviewed. And we have SMWS 48.157, wicked. We have SMWS 72.77, the Moroccan porridge smuggler strikes again. And we have SMWS 95.63 cherries from the neighbor's garden moving on to highland whiskey we have a feta ken 16 year old third release 2022 which i have reviewed we have the glendronic traditionally peated which i have reviewed we have the firkin 49 talabardin 2012 we have the No Nonsense Whiskey Aberfeldy 6 year old. We have the Tomatin 12 year old. We have the Wolfburn Latitude. We have the Old Poultney 12 year old. We have the SMWS 48.152, Pull That Cork. And we have the SMWS 78.52, Jolly Nice Fruit and Spice, which I have reviewed. We have the Loch Lomond 2011 10 year old Aquavitae exclusive, which I have reviewed. We have the Loch Lomond 12 year old. We have the Loch Lomond single cask 2006. We have the Loch Lomond 19 year old Royal Port Rush. We have the Glenmorangie La Santa 12 year old, which I have reviewed. We have the Glenmorangie Kinta Ruban 14 year old, which I have reviewed. We have the Glenmorangie Nectar Door, which I have reviewed. And finally, we have the Glengoin 21 year old. So I hope you found that interesting. As I said before, if there's any bottles that you think I should review, then just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.